Hey guys, welcome back. Now that we've taken down Hockey Man and Volcano Man, I could do it the way that you're supposed to and go fight Forest Man, but instead I'm gonna go fight Jet Man because why the hell not? Now, Jet Man is a dick, as I said earlier. His stage is also a dick because it is a sky stage and thus his bottomless pits everywhere. So, yeah, let's do this. These enemies are kind of irritating, but also die pretty quickly to your standard buster rush like everything else in the game. Almost everything else. Do -do -do -do. Generally, if you kill them before they get a chance to move, everything's gonna be fine. Now then, these enemies are mildly irritating. These are the moving platforms, which appear quite often in games, especially Mega Man games. They seem based on the ones from Cloud Man stage in Mega Man 7. This stage makes me think of it sort of, although not really, because it's not all that similar. Mm -hmm. Actually, having never played Mega Man 9, I must say this does sort of remind me of Tornado Man stage from what I've seen of it. Sorry about the slowdown on my computer, I've tried to fix it and it just... yeah. Uh -huh. Hooray for dashing. You know, I almost thought I was going to die right there. <laughs> there goes, shows what my memory is. As you can see, the slowdown is really quite irritating, actually. And, in general, if I'm ever near any spikes, I will get really super nervous about them, but having gone through this section many times before, I am really not all that nervous about it. In fact, this level is actually a lot more terrifying the first time you're through it, really. There goes... Stupid enemies that take a while to actually kill. Well, that was a fail. Generally, it's stupid deaths like that that leave me cooking myself in this game. In general, by the way, the ice shield is mostly useless in this stage because nothing dies in one hit, so you're not actually going to be killing anything with it unless you want to throw it, which is really not all that effective. Actually, I can't remember if those birds... Oh, wait, yeah, these birds are the only thing in this stage that actually kill get killed by it, which means it has its uses in the very last part. A lot of actual very last parts seem to have some item, um, weapon that makes them a lot easier to deal with. I hate this part with all these fans. Well. Casually checks zero lives. Well, you know. This means I'm going to have to fight Jetman and without dying once. Which I do not know if I can pull off. Especially without his weakness. Not this. Screw that, I'm gonna go fight Forest Man. Forest Man does not really have all that hard of a stage. In fact, Forest Man is actually the first boss I fight fought when I played this game. And these flowers are very fairly easy to kill. These are basically Sniper Joes, except Tribal, and they're much more irritating. The Med Tools don't even shoot, but they're all leafy, so you know. When was the last time I saw playing this shot? And the monkey right there appears twice in the entire level. Entire game, in fact. I think he's a bit of a missed opportunity, because he could have been used so much. If I recall correctly, there's absolutely nothing up there. This room is kind of irritating, because you're being chased... Well... Now that makes sense, doesn't it? Anyway. Dodge, dodge, dodge. What's up? Ah! Okay, yeah, I just did that on purpose. These enemies are much easier to handle if you've beaten Lightning Man. Or you can just, you know, walk through them like I just did. These enemies are not much easier to handle no matter what you've beaten. They're just slightly irritating all the time. Oh god, I hate this room. If I recall correctly, I'm about to fight a very slightly irritating mini-boss. 
Which, now that I think about it, might be a lot easier if you have, well, I'm gonna try it out. So, it appears to be two guy, a bunch of guys powering a two-headed water dragon robot by pedaling. And unfortunately, it seems that the missiles actually destroy the ice shield, so really it's better just to shoot them. This song is pretty fitting, I think. I must give kudos to the composer, King Sokuto. This game is pretty nice with ammunition and stuff. kind of irritating, actually. Unless, of course, you have an actual weapon. You know, I probably should have switched for using that. Oh, well. I hate these vines, as I do with pretty much everything that's kind of awkward, really. Yeah, whatever. They do cause a bit of trouble if, you can't, if you're not used to it. You have to hold up to grab them. There's that second appearance of that monkey right there. I don't know, maybe he appears a lot more often in this room. I like to think of him as a single monkey. Oh god, not the bees! Uh... Oh, hey, look, two monkeys. Okay, three monkeys! Okay, so I was wrong. There are more monkeys in the game. <laughs> you don't have to be so mean about it. Okay. This room. That was not as hard as it normally is. You know, now that I think about nah, because I'd have to kill the Raphalesia robot things. Raphalesia are the flower robot things. I was planning to use the ice shield thing in the I don't even know their actual names now that I think about it. I know that's the volcano cannon, although I swear it should have been called the volcanic cannon. Or the Vol Cannon. And there are this, the Nick Cage bees. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. At least they don't knock you off. You know, as expected, I have to fight. Volcano Man with one life. Why am I not surprised? Here's that stupid orangish red color again. Screw the ever loving crap out of this level. I do not like vines! Screw this crap, I'm gonna fight Lightning Man, because he's pathetic. Yeah, I see you looking like a ninja over there. Well, since I've wasted nearly ten minutes accomplishing absolutely nothing, I'm sure you guys are getting bored, so I better get at least one Robot Master fight in here. So, the question is, can I beat him in this race against the clock? You know, I have never been hit by that enemy before. Oh, I am doing really, really bad today. As with the ones from Sparkman Stage... In fact, this entire level seems to be based off Sparkman Stage, or maybe little Plugman's thrown in. Don't think they're gonna instantly kill you, they will just hurt you, and if I recall correctly, they hurt you a lot, but I don't really want to bother to hit one to find out. Remember that- oh god, these green enemies bring to mind the green things from a Lechman stage, except not really, but they're slightly annoying to die in one hit, so they aren't too bad. Note to you people who actually plan to play the game, it's generally a good idea to either rush straight through one of the spark things, or just wait for them to finish the first vault before trying anything. And slowdown strikes again, which is really weird because I haven't had any slowdown for the last few days. This is really not that hard to... Of... 
I don't know what to think about that. You see? Sorry to complain about slowdown for more than half the video, but I'm already past 10 minutes and I still haven't fought a Robot Master yet. And I have a feeling that I might have gotten somewhere. Oh, whatever. It's just that I'm used to jumping hold. You know what? I don't even care about that stupid goddamn life. If I get to lightning, man, it won't be too hard. <laughs> Fucking finally. And now I have another room to get through before I can actually reach lightning, man, but luckily ice shield pulverizes it. And as usual, slowdown's not gonna make it any faster. I don't know if it's easier or more irritating, really. More faster isn't actually correct English, is it? Oh well. And now, because I don't actually have anything he's weak to, I've never actually tested the Volcano Cannon against Lightning Man. Let's find out how well it does. Now, Lightning Man is fairly simple to fight. He has a bunch of attacks, but honestly, once you learn them all, only the try shot is going to actually cause any potential damage once you know how to dodge them. I'm not even really trying to dodge him here because I don't really think I'm going to lose ever, but... Oh, okay, now I have to actually start playing. This is the only boss I have managed to ever beat without ever dying. I'm getting hurt once, actually. It's basically that one attack that's really irritating. And, you know, you just gotta be fast to react to it or else you're screwed. Or in the right place. And that way I managed to fit one Robot Master into this video. Lightning Man's weapon is one of the best weapons in the game, pretty much. Because it basically replaces your buster with a lightning bolt that, while well, you can only have one on screen. Actually, I think you have two on screen. But they kill enemies much faster. We're talking about twice as fast here. So, it's really quite useful. And that's really all I have time for, so... See ya next